Welcome back, everybody. Do you see my screen here, right? By now, you should see 30 days of JavaScript. I believe so. Today, actually, we will talk about sets and map, uh, destructuring and spreading. These are the topics we will focus on. But if we have time, we will also talk about classes. Let's see first how much we can do today. And uh, I have to create here, what is in here? Yeah, this the React example from last week. I can just create a folder and I call it set and map. Map, it's a bit different. So let me just write it capital and it will just like this would be good. It's a folder, okay? And now let's start with set. Set dot, uh, I think it's better also if I have index.html, index.html. <laughs> nice. Uh, let me just change this to HTML. And if I have to have sets dot, JS. Okay, because I'm talking, I'm going to talk about sets today. That's why I'm I gave the file name sets. And all the time we just have to connect, right? And source, it should be sets, right? And then let's just write something over here. Console.log. Let's talk about talk about sets. And let's run this. If we have live server, it should be somewhere the live server. I don't see the live server. Where's my live server? I don't see it. At least let's put it here. Yeah, it's here. So make this active. And then if we run it, it will be open. There's nothing but Control Shift I to open the console. And the console should be open, as you can see. Let's talk about sets. Yeah, I think it's better if I just put everything in one side and it will be easy for you to follow. And I will put this the other side. Great. Mm, I think it's also good to follow this and I will manage to uh, cover everything. So Set is a collection of elements. Set can only contain unique elements. Let's see how to create a set. Yeah, that's a very good example. But before that, I will talk about set. If you remember, I think uh, if you remember in your mathematics class, um, do you remember in your mathematics class, you may have a say, set A may have a set of elements, right? Maybe you may have one, two, three, four, five, right? Now, oh, great. And set B, you may have a, another set of elements, seven, eight, and nine. How many elements do you have here? I see five elements, and I see in here, maybe I think it's better if I call it just B instead of C. Uh, yeah, then how about if I say A union B, the union of A and B, it could be one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. Is it clear so far? Just type one for me. This mathematics is clear so far. Okay, but how about if we had actually over here, five, six. The union will be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. And then now let me show you A intersection B. And now you tell me the intersection of A and B. Five. Oh, it should be five. Actually, it seems only five. 
Yeah, it's just only five. Oh yeah. Then let's see A without B. A without B means only A, elements that exist only in A. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How do you say B without A? A without B, uh, A without B, I think we call it um, also A, the complement of B or something. Anyway, A without B, B without A means again, all B, but not A. So we can say six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. And there is also a symmetric difference that is A, without B union B without A. That means this union this. And it's going to be, you tell me. So the union of this and this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Actually, this seems A without A without B union B without A. If you see the value, actually the value is actually without the intersection. It means A union B without intersection. So a, the symmetric difference A without B union B is actually exactly the same as a union B without A intersection B, another way. So if we remove, yeah, I think now we are going deep into mathematics. So this, it's not deep, it's a, an elementary mathematics. So this set in uh, Python or in JavaScript allow us to create actually sets. Now let's change this into just, yeah, how can we change this? Of course, at least I can, I can call this honest because we have to declare variables like this. Honest and, but as you can see, there's still complain. Why? Because the way we declare set is a bit different. Um, maybe most of the time we should do this a bit different. So we can pass this actually new set. And how about if you drop it here? Even still, it's not how you declare it. So the best way to declare this is actually, we have to have this in as in a list first, as in an array. So honest may be uh, A as in array. I can just put it here and change it to maybe I think it would be nice if I just even show you also just what an empty state looks like. I can just comment this everything. Yeah, let me just comment this. Yeah, I will keep everything as it was. Yeah, great. So let me just show you first honest empty list empty set empty set this is how we create and then just new set so you we have to use this the constructor set and this give us actually a console.log and empty set what does that this give us oh i have to refresh it once empty adult empty set as you can see empty set and this empty set, it's a bit different from uh, list array. So we can check actually the size. Empty set dot size give us the length size, as you can see, zero. There is nothing. How about if we pass one over here? Yeah, it doesn't take like that, the value. You can't pass, but we can use the add method. 
how do we add, for instance, empty set dot add, and then if I pass value one, now, as you can see, a value has been added. How about empty set and then add two? Oh yeah, as you can see, the number of elements I have here is two, one and two. Let's just keep this as empty set, but let's create another set. Uh, and I call this corners A and new again set. So I may have now A dot add, and then if I say one, and to check console.log a as a uppercase. As you can see, yeah, now let's populate. Maybe if you have a list of elements, maybe for instance, if I say uh, four, yeah, four lit i is equal to zero i less than 11 and i plus plus i want to populate my set a add dot uh, a dot add and then if i pass this actually i'm adding every now and then yeah but what's that has what is uh, let me refresh yeah, so now if we just uh, console.log and A, as you can see, I managed to add actually uh, 11 values and you can check console.log um, A dot size. We have 11 items, okay. Great, but how about if I, well, even you can add maybe different values. So now let's see other examples we have. Yeah, this is a very good example. Now this example actually show us, let me show you here. These are list of languages. Okay, the English language can be spoken in UK and finish in Finland, English again in America, French, Spanish, and English again maybe in New Zealand or Australia, French in maybe in uh, Cameroon or somewhere in Algeria. So as you can see, we saw the English language how many times? One, two, three times, and the French language two times, and Spanish once. Uh, this is very, how many languages do you see in total? I mean, how many languages do we have in total here? Seven. Yes, that the, the count, the total count is seven, but the language, how many languages do we have in this uh, array? Four. Three. Four. Three. Yes. So, uh, four. Yeah, four. If the list was, if the array was so big, it was hard to count. So this uh, language set, we can create a new set. We can pass actually these languages to the set and we can create now a different uh, set that removes the duplicates. So it doesn't allow duplicates. Now the duplicates are actually gone uh, so as you can see, English, Finnish, French, and Spanish. So we have four languages. Duplicates has been removed, as you can see. So it doesn't store. One of the purpose of site is actually to remove duplicates. And uh, so for instance, if I ask you, hey, go to the country's API and count the total number of languages in the country's API. The country's API may not exist, but if you go to 30 days of JavaScript and into data folder, there is already a JSON, country's JSON file or country's uh, list of lists um, array over there. So it's possible to calculate. Maybe I, I just uh, give you where it is. 
So don't worry too much about that. Uh, so we have very good data already. I Oh, no, it's not. It shouldn't be somehow in the... Yeah, sometimes when you come here, what? Uh, there's only this, but I think you should get somewhere if you come to countries. Uh, yeah, somewhere around could be possible to find a data. And yeah, this is good already. You can make use of this. For instance, if I ask you, hey, count the total number of countries, I mean, uh, languages in this country survey. So only now, how many did we count only already in uh, Afghanistan? Three, four, five, six, right? Uh, but English again, you don't have to count now and then. You should have a way to remove duplicates. Now, English, someone, uh, and then Catalan, Portuguese, English again, is coming every now and then, English again. So you have to know. And also the most spoken language in this. The, 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 so I want you to try the most, the 10 most spoken language and also the total number of languages in this country's array. So you can use sets, sets very powerful. I think I can just copy this now, maybe in case if we need to calculate some thing, we can make use of the, yes, it's a big data. Oh, I should have used a different way of selecting. Maybe I can just leave it here. Uh, new data.js, and I have it here now. Oh, great. So remember that the flag doesn't exist anymore, but the other data are here already static data that you can make use of. Yeah, learning anything you want. Okay. So let's keep going, okay? Uh, adding an element, as you can see now, it says companies. So we are declaring a new company, new set, and the size zero. And then we are adding every now and then, hey, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Oracle, Microsoft. And now the size is actually five, right? Because it's increasing. And then if you want to see how it looks like, it looks like, yeah, the curly bracket. Yeah, so set is with a curly bracket. Or another way we can store them like as in a list like this. And then uh, you can loop through. Now let me just show you this. Mm, no. Now, uh, let me just remove this. This is one way. If I just print console.log and uh, if I say set of companies, set of companies, uh, you may see a uh, set of companies. As you can see, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Oracle, and Microsoft. But actually, you don't even have to do it something like this. You can just pass the companies over here and that's just short enough to make it let me just turn this on have you seen yeah so you don't have to loop through even to change a, a, an array to a set okay great Deleting an element of a set, can we delete? Yes, we can delete one of the items. Uh, let me show you here. Now we don't need this. Uh, let, and let's see what we have. Uh, we have Google, Facebook, Amazon, Oracle, and Microsoft. 
Yep. So we can actually delete them one after another. If I want to delete, so companies, uh, I think set of companies, it says set of companies.delete. And you have to refer the item by name because it doesn't have order, it doesn't have index. We don't use index here. So then we can say console.log set of companies to see if it's deleted, de deleted or not. So as you can see, we don't have Google anymore. Yeah, so it has been uh, deleted. Uh, checking if an item exists, so that's so easy. Maybe you can say uh, console.log in the set of companies. And now let's see has, and then if I check Google, because we have removed it already, and I should get false. Yeah, but if I change this to Facebook, it should be true because Facebook exists in the set. Yeah, so we can use has method. So it has a has method. Uh, can we clear everything? Yeah, of course, you can just write here a uh, set of companies and then clear, clear everything. And yeah, uh, of course, I have to check console.log and set of companies. Yeah, everything has been cleared. Oh yeah. Uh, so yes, that's uh, some of the uh, the methods. What's next? Can we iterate? Can we iterate through language? Yeah, why not? As you can see here, we are iterating through this language. So if you remember here, language set, First, we have this array. Maybe I can just take this down for you again to show the, as you remember, we have English, English everywhere, but we have removed the duplicate. Now we have only four languages, and then you can actually loop through uh, four corners language of lang of state and then console.log each of the language one after another, as you can see. So if you remember when I was teaching you for loop, this for of is something we can use with array. Actually, we can use it also with list. Yep. So yeah, this, yeah, so you can loop through the items. Uh, here, actually, I'm trying to show the number of counts in a different way. Uh, so have you seen here, uh, the, the English language has been occurred here three times, and the Finnish once, and the French count two, and the Spanish one. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can show you what, what, I'm, what I have implemented here, okay? Uh, Yeah, my I didn't like my variable names anyway here. So the, the the technique is actually first you have to loop through here. While, while I'm looping, let me show you. I can filter because filter is so powerful. Uh, how many uh, I can say language with the mean language dot filter. And then you know that the filter has the item and the index, but now I'm interested in the uh, item only. So if the item, this item is equal to the language, this lang, and usually it's better if we use three. And let's see what we get. Print, oh, sorry. Console the flag, this. As you can see, when I was iterating, uh, for the first, English has, has occurred, how many times? Three times, Finnish one times, French two times. Okay, now that means 
this is this the filtered result so we can state we can count okay and how was the filter item the filter item is this one so i can say in state uh, l and uh, that's the filter item as you can see english three times finish yeah so instead how about if i put it something like this uh language i can say a kind of a dictionary instead of just printing like that i may say just a kind of uh oh, object so the language i may say l and the count i may say filter dot language because filter usually gives you an array yeah so uh how what is this now instead of language i should have said l by the way because hmm. oh sorry it should be language too because the language the main language i made it language and why 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 is that language okay is equal to l the count should be this. yeah good as you can see the language is english the count is three and but now this doesn't sound good we have to put it in a more logical way it should be stored somewhere okay maybe countries object or whatever and i have to have this and i have to append this now and then right yes so maybe if this code is hard to read so we can say uh, let language i put it the language part l mm, l i can just for count let count the count is also going to be the filtered result this value and then let's move this now after that we i can just push everything right countries country country object dot push now the value the language and the count as in yeah es6 structuring now if you see or if you print out somewhere by the way this means language to language and count to count and console.log country object now as you can see i have three one to one and then after it's up to you to filter this and with this process you will have this the power to uh, filter out the most frequent language in the world yes now uh, did we use set here yes actually first we change this to set yes yeah, so that means we reduce it to the total count and original count so we are we have been filtering okay how many times the english occur in this list in this array yeah now oh, let's move on i think that is good enough union of sets so oh, yeah uh in um, javascript there is no a special uh methods to make union of uh sets so what we should do do you remember i was teaching you this right now let's make uh this and i can call this guys actually honest mm, i think i can call them let a and change them to a list yeah and let b it could be also honest it doesn't matter no that much of a difference but i have this tendency of changing every 
to a const, okay? Every array to a const. Okay, great. Now, this is so clear for you. You just see an array of two variables. That's A and B. And then let's see C. I didn't teach you a spread operator before, but today we will learn. Uh, let me show you to just mix this data together to mix. We don't use A plus B. Instead, to concatenate, we can use two methods. A dot concat and then B, uh, one of the method, okay? Then I let me show you console.log. C. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Do you agree? Is it the concat of this? Yes. Great. Another way of concatenation, and it's also very powerful. I have to show you. Conist C using a spread. Dot, dot, dot. You need three dots and A. So that means all the A items will be spreaded over here. And then again, dot, dot, dot B, and all B elements or items will be spread over here. And we will get the same output as before. It's the same, right? Great. So you can do it either using a spread operator or concat. No match difference, okay? You can just go for any. And in the next version of these 30 days of uh, JavaScript, I have to also update this. I have to include the pose methods. Okay, now, do you think this is the union? No. No. Yeah, if for someone who is uh, in math mathematic mathematics, this is not a union because we just repeat this item two times. So that's not right. Yeah, so what we should do, union. So we can say conist A, union B. What we can do is just new set. And then you just drop C. And now let's see console of log A union B. What do you think now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you think, is it the right union set? Yes. One, two, three, four. Maybe you can yes. also check with what we had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. And it was, there is no method. The, um, in, in Python, it's so easy. In Python, you just say, uh, CMD, uh, if you have a Python, actually, I just, uh, I'm not teaching you Python, but what we, you should do is just, you have this, and you have this, then what you, you should say, A dot union and B. Oh yeah, because at the first place we should have declared that as in a set. Yes. So what you should do? Yeah, in Python also we have this power to write like this, and then again, B. I'm not. I'm not. Sorry, I'm not teaching you two languages at the same time, but just. Python is also very easy. And then if you do the union, yeah, A union B, it gives you this. It's not only that, A dot intersection, intersection B, and then we're expecting, yeah, and A dot symmetric, I don't know how to write, A dot, difference, for instance, A difference, B, B dot difference A such guys kind of, so so handy in Python but in, in JavaScript we have to really uh, kind of create it by ourselves let's show the intersection again mm, 
as you can see, almost there is no. So you, you, we have this and these values. So we have to uh, filter out. So B has none. So what, uh, as you can see, to uh, find the intersection A, we are filtering from A filter num. I think it would be so easy first if I show you. Uh, it's a bit complicated here, the intersection especially. So yeah, I think the union could be clear for you. So let me just comment this out. By the way, this is just additional. It doesn't really, it's not very common that much. You don't have to use this all the time. Now, uh, first I have to change it A to new set A. Uh, you have here an array and now I'm changing it to a set honest B new set and then B. Yeah. As you can see, you have here the arrays and we have here the set. Then what we should do to make the union, I mean, the first we have to filter out. Okay, we, you should say, let C A dot filter. Um, what are we filtering? I will show you. That's the, this. So now, as you can see, I'm, re I'm talking about actually this. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about this, this one. And I'm filtering what? B dot has. Okay. And num. B dot B dot has now. Uh, when I am iterating all the A's and I'm checking if any of the A exists here, then if there is, then there should be some commonality. Now I have to print out and show you if there's anything we got. Console.log. Maybe I think, okay, let me just show you the result first. What, what is this? I, what did we, A, B, A, where did we declare anywhere? Oh, we have it here. Okay. As you can see, there is a common value here, five. Yeah. Five. Five is common boss in here. Then five is a still, it's not a set. So we have to change it to a set. So as you can see, after this, we are changing this to a set like this by passing. So this is actually the intersection value. But here it seems a bit, uh, uh, yeah, in, in our case, it we have only one value, but let me check how much, if I change this, do we get the same result? Because let's see. Yeah, three, four, five, or three, four, five, three, four, five. Uh, it's a bit tricky, guys, a bit tricky because the difference of sets, so A without B or B without A. And then uh, as you can see, we instead of the intersection, uh, instead, we negate it, as you can see. So which one is not common? So something which is not common, for instance, is, uh, is it one common? No. Nope. Is two common? No. Nope. Is three common? Yes. Four? Yes. So five. So if we say A without B, it should be one, two. And if we say B without A, it's going to be six. So this is a complement of A without B and one, two. 
Uh, I think this is good enough for set. Uh, now let's move on to map. When do we need map, <laughs> guys? By the way, you don't have to know map, but this is how we create the map. Honest map and again, new map. So the map is a kind of creating um, object with a kind of a key value, but it's a bit different the way it works. So let me just print this out and see what does it look like, the map object. As you can see, it has a map and the size is zero and you don't use length instead size again. How do we create? I just made this uh, to create a map. And let me just show you by putting here countries. And then you can just pass this one countries. Uh, and it will be actually something like this. Hey, Finland is now the, the key and the value, the key and the value, it's a, a kind of a peer. It looks like an object, but it's not an object, guys. Oh, yeah. So you get something like that. But this also doesn't allow duplicate. It doesn't allow duplicate, okay? The, the key should be unique all the time. How do we add? For instance, uh, we can say map and... Uh, if we want to add, we can say set, okay, Italy, and then we can add actually Rome. So now let's see if console.log in the map object, map, now, as you can see, Italy, and maybe also more countries, map dot. Uh, set and if we have a this and it will appear. So now it's, it's growing. And if you check the want to know the size, console.log uh, map dot size. Yeah, five. It, it has been growing. First, we used to have. Uh, this list, as you can see, to change a uh, list to a map, your list should be list of list. And each item should have this kind of structure. This is going to be the key and this is going to be the value. Huh? It's a kind of one-to-one -one matching and mapping. As you can see, we see also that, that we do actually JavaScript is so disciplined that the name is, it, it makes sense all the time. Why they call it this map? Because it's a mapping. This has to map with this. And this has to map with this, yeah? And what this differ from also object, numbers and other data types can be a key here in this map. Okay, a uh, gate, yeah, this, the gate is actually to get the value out. So you can say map dot gate if you want to know the capital of Finland and you should guess gate actually Helsinki. So I have to say console.log and let's try. Oh yeah, it was actually Helsinki. That's great. Uh, but how about if we try something we don't have? Let's try, for instance, we don't have Kenya, right? Do we have Kenya? No, we don't have Kenya. So as you can see, it runs it runs still, but it's undefined value. But let's maybe add and see, of course, for Nairobi, Kenya. And let's see. Oh, the other way. Yeah, I think why I wrote it here also, I should have written it like the same, Ethiopia. Nairobi, Kenya, and here. OK. 
Kenny. Kenny Nairobi. Yes. As you can see, Nairobi, great. Yeah, we can use also has. The has is a great, uh, for instance, to check control the flag in the map method, map dot uh, has, and if we have any key, uh, Somalia, and if it, it's going to be false, as you can see, because we don't have Somalia in the uh, map. Uh, can we loop through? Yeah, of course, let's try for, uh, conest uh, uh, one of the value in actually in is not proper um, but of map because I called the name map or I should have called it countries map so let's just map this value one after another console dot lag as a value and let's see what do we get actually when you loop through it's so special that it gives you a list. It's very surprising for me all the time. You know, you have this structure, you have this structure, but if you map through, I mean, if you iterate or loop through a map, this is what you get. Yeah. So then if you are interested to get one of the value, so you have to do zero, and maybe the next one is going to be value dot one. And then as you can see now, the first value is actually the country. So I may say country. And the second, I think it doesn't allow that. Maybe uh, something like this and this. And the second value is actually a city and something like this. Oh yeah, uh, can't, oh, country and a co county, country. Okay, so country, Finland, city, Helsinki and Sweden, Stockholm, Norway, whatsoever, yeah? So, but I'm, I didn't teach you this structuring yet. We are going to touch it or learn instead of using this, as you can see, if you remember uh, console.lag, the value is actually, it got two values. So to destructure the two values, we can say, hey, conest, the first value, I call it the country. And the second value, I call it city and just value. By doing this, you we managed to destructure it. This is so clean, right? And now if you check what you have in the country, console.log, country, and city, you should get the same. Oh, Italy, Rome, Norway, Oslo. So it seems that we don't need to uh, use this. So I can just drop here. Hey, country. And then here, city. Yeah, as you can see. And we've been printing over here. It's too much printing. And let's just make it a bit shorter. Yeah, as you can see. Oh, great. And even I am in favor of a string interpolation. So let's remove this ugly single quote. And we can just do this string interpolation, and then we can inject our data. Yeah, let's do that. And even we can write in a somehow pretty way. I can say. Article city is, as you can see, uh, Finland's capital city. Uh, nice. 
Finland's capital cities, Helsinki, Sweden's capital city, Stockholm, Norway's capital cities, Oslo, whatsoever. Yeah, now I have structured it here on the values, but even you can destructure right away when you are looping this. Really? Where? Here. By just putting like this, we destructure it right away. Yeah. This is not only for map, you can do for any other iteration. And now our code looks even much prettier, right? Yeah, even just one liner. Sometimes you may have a chance to see a code like this. Then actually you have just one thing inside. And then if you just write it, even this is still okay because you don't have other local code. What is happening here? Has it, have you seen? Yep. So sometimes if you don't have much code inside, if you have just one code like this, you may need you may not need the curly bracket, but the curly bracket is actually good to for readability purpose. I prefer to have it all the time. Thank you. Yes, that's great. For me, it's this more readable than anything else. So let's just move on to this mapping. So yeah, I think this is good enough for mapping. So the purpose of mapping is also to remove somehow duplicate when you have key and values. Um, but if you know set, you can use set and object without the, the use of map. I think this is good enough for set and map. And I have to stop the recording. You can work on the exercises over here if you have time. I think I just tried most of them. We have this already somewhere else and let's stop it in here.